Hi, welcome to Nikki to Workshop. Today we're going to be replacing the WIMS pump on the Prestige DTF A3 Plus printer. Stay tuned. White ink management system pump. So what it does, it takes the white ink from the reservoir and circulate it through the line while you're using the printer. Mine actually start failing and start flooding the white ink all over the printer and all over the desk. So I guess one sign that you can see your pump's gonna fail, you see that white dust on top of the pump? That was the first indication that something was going wrong with the pump. And then a few days later, then the ink just start flooding out. So they had mentioned the reason why this fail is that um, when the printer itself is off in the front, it was still on in the back. So when you're not using the printer, it's best to turn off both switches in the front and in the back so you're not having to stress this pump that it fails. You see there's ink everywhere. So to do this replacement, you have to have the new pump, which is this one here. They recommend having two clamps, a screwdriver, gloves, and some um, paper towel. All right, the first thing you need to do is to locate the, the electrical power or the wires for the pump. The wires back here, back here. So what you're gonna do is to disconnect this switch. Oh, make sure your printer is off, first thing. Um, you're gonna come back here, disconnect this, um, the switch, the connection here. Then you're gonna take out these two screws. It's a Philip um, screw head. They recommend using a screwdriver with a metal tip. I don't have one, so I'm gonna use what I have right now. But when you're taking it out, be careful not to lose those screws. So we're gonna disconnect the connector, take the screws out, then we're gonna gently pull the pump out. Once we pull the pump out, we're gonna put a clamp on each of the, the holes that goes into the pump. And then we're gonna remove the old pump and slide the new pump in and then put everything back together. So. Here we go, disconnect. slide it right out it has a little I think it does anything it doesn't have a snap just gently pull it out disconnect that one and leave that here and you're gonna take your Phillips screwdriver Take it out. So, pop the screws down. See, it has white ink everywhere. So, now we're going to take the clamp. So, you could just remember which one went where. What I'm gonna do, um, I'll clamp it here. I'll just these clamps, actually. I don't trust those clamps. So we're gonna put, you're gonna get some more ink out. I have ink all over the place. They say to clamp it. I'm not too sure about the clamps I have. So I'm going to replace it exactly the way it was. And this even look different. So 
This is the replacement that they sent me. So I'll try it, see how it works. If it doesn't work, I have to call him back and say, hey, you sent me the wrong pump. But let's we'll see. So I'm gonna replace it just the way it is. It goes one way, so I guess if it doesn't work that way, I'll swap the connections and see if it works the other way. But I'm gonna replace it top with a top one, bottom with a bottom one. Yeah, and then I have to put it back this way. Mm. took the the clear one that was in there and then I'm gonna replace the top with the top here Place the bottom one. Okay. The screws got stuck to it. So I'm going to clean up here a little bit. Sorry, I'm blocking a little. So I'm just cleaning it off. So we're going to drop this in. I want to have the leads in front. So I'll drop it in that way. Even the connector up. Let's push this one in. It only fits one way. I feel like it should fit in the screws. Now I have air in the line. <sighs> all right, so this was empty because all my ink went out. And white ink is expensive. Let's replace the white ink.
All right, so let's see if the pump's gonna work. That does not sound like it's working. Okay, the pump this time is not working. I have to call them. Alright, this was a very quick video. Hi everyone. Um, the replacement part finally came in. I kind of put it in just to test it that it was working before filming. So it is working. We got ink to the line. I'm going to find out if I connected it right. I'm going to do some test prints and then see what happens. So, um, you see it's pulling this time. Thought the time nothing was happening, so here it's working. So. I think it might be the wrong way. All right, let's see. Okay, I just checked it. It is in the right position. So what I did, I took um, this one off because this is supposed to be sucking in and then this one is the one that um, pumps or push the ink to the cartridge. So it is pulling in and it was pushing ink out. And I could show you right now because when I did it, see here is empty. So now we're gonna send ink through there. So let's see what happens. I don't know if you saw that, but see, it got solid white. So it's pushing the air through. The only thing I noticed there are bubbles here. Let me see if it's gonna be a problem once I start printing. So, like I said, I'm gonna do some test prints and see what happens. 